Following two consecutive years of the Fiji economy's contraction, there's finally some good news. The International Monetary Fund, after a country mission here, has revealed the economy has for the first time in five years recorded a positive growth. But in order to maintain the positive upward swing, the IMF says current reforms implemented by government must not lose momentum. The economy has over the years struggled amidst challenging circumstances, both internal and external. However, 2011 seems to be a good year with the economy forecast to grow by about 2%. A team from the International Monetary Fund spent the last two weeks conducting meetings with both the private and public sector to get a feel of how the economy was performing. As you know, we had two years of contraction. 2% 2, 2 growth this year is relatively strong. In fact, it's the strongest that we've had in the last uh, number of years. Um, so that is quite uh, a good result. Looking over the medium term, we're not that optimistic about growth as we are this year. And what we see as a need is a need to accelerate some of these structural reforms. The team says government is on the right track in dealing with the problem of low economic growth. Fiji needs to get its investment up and needs to get its growth rate up. And structural reforms really are the issue. Somebody once told me that Fiji has a 15 or 20 year problem with growth and therefore we need fiscal stimulus. And I answered him and I'd say to you also, if you've got such a long running problem with growth, you can't spend your way out of it. Otherwise, your debt will get out of control. What you need to do is think about the underlying causes for that low growth and try to address those. The IMF has, however, thrown caution on the issue of price control. But we feel that what, even though it's been reduced, is still an extensive set of price controls, could be a deterrent to investment. Because it's not clear whether another good might be added tomorrow or next month. And as a result, there's uncertainty. An investor may say, why should I invest in this sector if I think my return might go down? tomorrow. The team does though point out that the Reserve Bank's monetary stance is accommodative and should encourage banks to lend more in order to stimulate the economy. On the same note, stating the importance of dialogue with all parties before major decisions are made. In all these areas of policy making, there's a need to have consultation with people, with all the stakeholders. Consult with civil society and the business community and everybody to improve, as I said, the quality, the consistency and sustainability of the decisions. The mission will present a report to be discussed by the IMF Executive Board early next year. Anane Soro, Fiji One News.